Hello again. It's Friday, September 3rd, 2021. This is Journal TV and I'm Jerry Clark. It's time for the news. Dakota Murillo had a great idea this week. He organized a 13 mile ruck march with a group of friends, members of law enforcement and other emergency personnel to honor the 13 service members recently killed by a suicide bomb attack in Kabul, Afghanistan. The group march from Longdale Furnace all the way to DSLCC, and Marilla took time out to speak with the journal about it. We're doing 13 miles just to honor the 13 service members that died overseas in Kabul, Afghanistan at the Kabul airport recently. Um, myself and a group of other law enforcement officers from both the Clifton Forge Police Department, Allegheny Sheriff's Department, and also members of the Clifton Forge Fire Department and even uh, local veterans have also joined us in this march. Um, we're doing it to honor the 13 service members that did not get to come home. Um, myself, I'm a veteran of, with the United States Army. I was deployed overseas in Kabul, Afghanistan a couple years ago and just recently came home. Um, so to hear that service members of the U.S. military did not make it home really breaks my heart. Um, so I definitely wanted to do something to honor them. Um, and I did it the best way I knew how. Three area rotary clubs were recently honored at the historic Masonic Theater by a celebration for 100 years of operation. Rotary is best known for helping to eradicate polio, but it also assists communities with other challenges. Historian Thomas Dixon Jr. has donated his lifetime collection of CNO railway related photographs to the historical Take two. Historian Thomas Dixon Jr. has donated his lifetime collection of CNO railway related photographs to the CNO Historical Society. The collection consists of more than 25,000 images accumulated before the society had the ability to scan photos and archival materials. Much more on this is available right now on AlleghenyJournal.com. And now a word from our sponsor. Boys Home just announced the addition of Christina Mason to its staff. The Liberty University graduate will have duties as both a house parent and a technology specialist. The Covington High School JV football team's opening game was a tough one against Stanton on Thursday night. The Cougars were close at the half, trailing just 13 to six, but were blanked in the second half to end up with a 32 to six loss. The varsity plays in Stanton tonight. And now for local obituaries. Mary Little, 91 of Clifton Forge, passed away on Tuesday. Frank Robinson Jr., 73 of Clifton Forge, died Wednesday. John Kern Sr., 73 of Clifton Forge, died Wednesday. Eccles Glover, 71 of Lewisburg, passed away on Tuesday. 
Teresa Crawford, 63, of Covington, died Wednesday. Linda Newman, 76, of Covington, died on Thursday. Teresa Coffey, 64, of Clifton Forge, passed away on Thursday. And Sarah Brumfield, 77, of Rafine, died Wednesday. More information on all obituaries may be found on AlleghenyJournal.com. Let's check out the local weather forecast. On Saturday, it should be mostly sunny, high of 84 and a low of 61. On Sunday, partly cloudy with showers likely, high of 81 and a low of 61. And on Monday, partly cloudy with rain showers, high of 84 and a low of 56 degrees. And that's the way it is on Friday, September 3rd, 2021. More stories, photos, videos, and interviews are available 24-7, 365 on AlleghenyJournal.com, YouTube, and on our soaring Facebook page. Thanks very much for watching Journal TV.